I'm on record saying that the first person to live to 150 years has already be, been born. And I already I said that about five years ago. And in the last five years, something extraordinary has happened since, making me think that it's not just 150 years. All bets are off. And that's not just for somebody who's born today who will live definitely into the 22nd century, where the technologies that they'll have, we can barely even imagine. Even 10 years from now, we can barely imagine. Those of us who were born in the 1960s, like I was, 1970s, 80s, and even those who are now in, just in their 20s, will benefit from this real major advance that I'm going to tell you about today. This is also personal. It's not just about technology. In my family, I was raised by my grandmother predominantly. My mother also helped. She was working. But my grandmother escaped uh, Europe in the 1950s, having lived through, as a young girl, the Depression, World War II. She was from Hungary. It was a brutal time. She escaped to Australia, where I got my accent, and I came to MIT in my 20s. But she raised me to, to believe that humans can do better than we've done in the 20th century. And she said, it's, it's partly my role to show humanity can be better than they are. And that's what drives me every, every day I get up. And my goal since I was really four years old was to try and leave the world a better place.